Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very unusual device, the Zigbee Sonoff ZB Micro USB Relay Switch. Sonoff designed this device to not only provide you with a Zigbee controlled relay switch, but also provide you quick charge capabilities, data pass through, and best of all, a Zigbee router. So this inexpensive device can now fulfill several different functions in your smart home. So let's flick the switch and find out what this innovative device is all about. In the box, you get the device itself, which measures 33 millimeters by 31 millimeters by 26.5 millimeters. And as with all recent Sonoff devices is well engineered, being hard wearing, fire resistant and impact resistant also. It comes with a USB plug cap to protect the outbound USB socket, which is handy if you want to use this device just as a USB router, more on that later. And the usual user manual, written in incredibly small writing, links in the description to the official online manual. The ZB Micro is a second iteration of this design, and Sonoff have listened to their customers and improved on the design with several new features. Firstly, the CPU used is the Silicon Labs EFR 32MG21, which is both efficient and very powerful for such a small and cost-effective device. This plays a major point later in the video. The previous version of the Sonoff Micro did not have any data pass-through. Now you can use the ZB Micro in line and will support high-speed 2.0 data transfer. Although this is limited to 480 megabits per second, although this is still the same as an iPhone Lightning will support. By using the EFR32 chipset, the ZB Micro now supports Zigbee 3.0, and as such is more secure, is faster, and supports a more stable network. In addition, Sonoff have built in a Zigbee Turbo mode that when activated increases the transmission power and sensitivity of the radio signals, which can improve the range and reliability of wireless communications. This is especially important as this small USB powered device is a Zigbee router, so by using this, you'll increase coverage, reliability, and speed of your Zigbee network. And the good news doesn't stop there. The party piece of the ZB Micro is its ability to provide 36 watts of power to the output USB when plugged into a quick charge 3.0 USB power supply, maximizing your charging experience while providing you a Zigbee router and switch relay control. I'll put a link in the description as to what QC charging or quick charging is about. The Sonoff ZB Micro is compatible with all Sonoff dongles, panels, hubs, links in the description with discount codes, but also with Amazon Alexa, Google Home and SmartThings, and an interesting inclusion of Philips Hue, which is a strange choice for compatibility, but does still seem to be used widely. I'll leave the comments as to the Philips Hue compatibility with Paul Hibbert, as I'm sure you're all aware. So I'll be linking this with Home Assistant, as that's what all of you are here for. First, let's pair it with ZHA and see what sensors and controls are exposed. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the blue button in the right-hand corner for Add Integration. Select Add a Zigbee Device. Press and hold the pairing button for 10 seconds. Home Assistant will find and pair the ZB Micro. Optionally, give it an area, in my case, System. Through ZHA, we can basically only use the switch to turn on or off the relay to allow power and data through the device. We can check to see if the firmware is up to date, but there are no other sensors or controls available to us. Now let's try the same, but this time through Zigbee to MQTT. If you don't have Zigbee to MQTT installed, then check out the video in the pop-up above, or if you're a more advanced user and want to install ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT, then check out the video in this pop-up. First, let's delete the ZB Micro from ZHA. Press the three dots to the right of configuration. Select Removed and confirm with OK. Press the Zigbee to MQTT in the side menu. Select Permit to Join. Press and hold the pairing button on the device for 10 seconds. The device will be found and paired. Select the device friendly name. Now select the exposes to see the controls available. Now we can see a much more comprehensive list of controls. Firstly, you can turn on or off the switch relay. Then you get a power on behavior. This controls the behavior of the device after it loses power and then is powered back on and reconnects to your network. Then you get to control the RF turbo mode, which as previously explained, allows you to increase the transmission power. Considering the power draw of this device, I can't think of a reason why you would not leave this on permanently. 
And finally, you get something called inching. This allows you to toggle the state based on the predetermined amount of time measured in seconds to a maximum of 360 seconds or one hour. So of the two ZigBee protocols, ZigBee to MQTT offers a much more comprehensive set of controls and is the preferred option. So that's the Sonoff ZB Micro USB switch. What do I think? Well, it's a very interesting device, and I like the way that Sonoff has listened to their customers and included new features to meet their requirements. The inclusion of a powerful chip and transmitter to increase stability and performance of your Zigbee network as a router is a fabulous feature, and for that alone, it should be commended. So should you consider it, buy it, or skip it? I'd say buy it, but only if you have a specific need for a USB relay switch and want to increase your Zigbee network stability and performance. I personally use mine to turn off a Sonoff Cam Slim USB security camera that does not have a privacy shutter. My list of future enhancements is that it comes with an energy meter and also data throughput increases to support USB 3.0. Then I can think of many more uses. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then consider liking, subscribing and joining the ever-growing community. Until the next one, let's make sure those USB devices are turned off at night.